Okay. Today in this video, I'm going to show you on how to add or customize your Fury Launchpad in S4HANA. So we have this Fury Launchpad in S4HANA. So every end users or whoever is using the Fury Launchpad. So there are multiple apps based on the roles which are assigned, right? So how we can customize this Fury Launchpad based on our requirements. So only the apps which we need and the apps which we don't need, how can we delete that? And how can we create this group and add a set of apps which we, which is required? So this is basically, uh, if there is our end users or the customers who want a proper launch pad where they do want all the unwanted apps and they want the apps which are their only suitable for their role or only the apps which they're using on daily basis. So those apps has to be there in front. So how can we do that? Okay, so suppose for example, you need an optimized purchasing, like, you know, for P2P process, you need all these apps to conduct a P2P process, like starting from purchase requisition creation and business partner creation, product master data, purchase requisition creation, purchase order, goods receipt, create supplier invoice. So this is a end-to-end -end P2P process. So basically this, all these apps, which is required for these apps, we need multiple roles which has to be assigned to our user ID. So these might be the roles, okay? These are the roles which has to be assigned for those apps to be there in your Fury Launchpad. So now let's go to the system and see how we can customize our own apps and how we can add these apps in the Fury Launchpad. So the first thing you have to do is log into Fury from your SAP GUI. You can either use the link or you have a T code from which you can launch your Fury Launchpad. And then you have to go here on the right side and there is an option called edit homepage. So here in edit homepage, you can just click on this and then here you have an option to add group. So you just click on add group. Here you can just give the group name it needs to be added. So I can just give it as optimized purchasing in HANA or total P2P process. So optimized purchasing why I'm giving here is whatever the apps I'm going to add here or all, all are the new apps which I'm going to add. So these are the apps which are, you know, a renewed app or a new app which is SAP HANA has introduced in order to, you know, other than the T codes, whatever the apps which we have. So we have certain apps which SAP has introduced so that apps I'm going to add here, okay, to my Fury Launchpad. So I just gave the name as Optimized Purchasing P2P. And now to add the apps, I'll just go and click on this. So when I click on this, it'll take me to this App Finder page. So either you can go here directly to App Finder or it'll take me to this page. And then I just have to search for the app. For example, if I click on BP, so I'll get these many apps. I can simply go and here you have an Edit Assignment button. I can go here and now you can see that there is a group which I've already created. You can select this and close it. And next, if I need to add product master, this is a new app which SAP has introduced to create material master. So it is similar to MM01, but the way in which the materials are created here, it is a little different compared to your traditional screen. So here also I can go here and add to my optimized purchasing screen. So in the similar way, I can just add all the apps which I require here. So I can just add this and I can add manage purchase requisition. This is a new app. So I can add this to the screen and I can add manage purchase order. Just click on enter and add this. And I can click on post goods receipt for purchase order. This is a particular new app which SAP has introduced to just post the goods receipt for purchase order. Post goods receipt for purchase order. And we have create supplier invoice. So every, this apps are for every T code, there is an app which SAP has given. And along with that, there is a new app which SAP has introduced. So for example, if I click on, if I just search Miro, you will get this advanced app. This app is nothing but your Miro transaction, which we have in GUI. So other than that, there is an app 
which is only create supplier invoice, which is a new app which SAP has introduced, not the advanced one, the new app which SAP has introduced, and I've added this to the optimizing what my home page it is. So now when I come back, I can see that all the apps which are required and which I can use on daily basis, I can just see it here and I can just close. So once I get this in my launch pad and I can see now there is a group created and these are all the set of apps which are there and which I can use on daily basis. So suppose I want to delete any one of the apps which is unwanted and which I feel I don't want it in my launch pad. I can just see, do the same step, go to edit home page. Once you go to edit home page, you can just come here and click on this. Yeah, just click on remove. Your apps are removed. So it's removed from here and you can just close it. If you want to delete the group, you can just click on delete and the whole group will be deleted and the apps which are there here gets deleted. So that's how you customize your Fury Launchpad. In order to have this apps, you need to have these roles, which is assigned to your user ID. From BP, you have you should have BP master data. For product, you should have product master specialist. And all the other purchase requisition, purchase order, you should have purchase a role. And to post a goods, you should have a warehouse clerk role. And to post an invoice, you should have an accountant role. So this is how you customize your Fury Launchpad. Thank you.